I'm Jackie. This is my third year here, and I'm going to bring you the latest interviews with our own teachers and students. Hi. I'm Izzy. I do the introductions. I like strawberry daiquiris and long walks on the beach. But my daiquiris are non-alcoholic because that's not school appropriate. My name is Wade. I'm a senior. This is my first year at Rain Shadow, and I'll be doing your weather. Hey, I'm JJ. I'm a senior. I'm hoping to graduate this year. <laughs> and I'll be covering sports. I'm Josh, I'm a senior here at Rain Shadow. I'm 18 years old and this is my fourth year here. I'll be covering sports, public service announcements, and current events. So, Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Rain, Rain Shadow, Shadow Scoop. Scoop. Today we have lots of fun news for you, including sports and food and lots of other fun goodies that you don't get to hear very often. And I think we even have the leather, so... Uh, Principal Steve West has sent out a note stating <laughs> that we have lunch ready for you guys next week and breakfast is going to be 50 cents and lunch will be $2. If you can't eat or can't bring a lunch from home, um, please talk to Alyssa and she can get your situation worked out. And here's Jackie with parking permit. So the student parking permits are out and ready to available for you. Um, go to Kim's office only before and after school, not during class. Um, you must provide your driver's license, registration, and insurance. Um, there is no charge. <laughs> Casey. How's it going, guys? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. So we're going to interview you. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you taught at AC before this, right? Yes, I did. And how is that from Rain Shadow? Um, I think some of the big differences between Rain Shadow and AC, um, I mean, there's some simple ones. Um, over in AC, you have to wear a uniform, and um, you also have to be a part of a trade class, so you're either part of an AutoCAD class, a diesel class, or you're out building a house. Um, so that's obviously a little bit different since we're more geared toward arts and some unconventional things over here. Um, and also the schedule is different. Um, over at you go five days a week, and you know, on Fridays you get out at noon, but it's, it's definitely, yeah, it's, it's definitely five days a week. So um, I think I'm just trying to get used to the schedule and try to it used to be four days a week, but till 3.30, which is a long day. But you get three days off. It is nice. Well, truth be told, as a teacher, you're here on Fridays anyway. working, <laughs> trying to get ready for the next week. So, uh, Is anyone giving you a hard time yet since you're like a new teacher? And um, I think that there's definitely kind of a sense that you, know, you beat up on the person who's new. Um, so as far as, I mean, there's a truthful hard time. I think students are students no matter what school you're at. So. Um, there's probably a few students who have it out for me, but you know, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, what are your expectations for this week? I'm um, really just trying to get kids motivated to learn. Um, um, unfortunately, I teach math and English, so <laughs> kids don't ever like to read or write or do math. But um, it's just kind of I'm trying really hard to to create opportunities for them to see how it's used in real world. Um, applications and so my expectations are really to try to get kids motivated to want to learn and to be here. Okay. Well, that was it for now. Okay. Um, thank you, and we hope to see you the school year, the whole year, right? Yeah. The whole year. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I well, promise. You finish your grading. We'll All right. See you next okay. Week. Sounds good. Bye. Have a good day. Here's sports. Two. Hey, sports fans. We have some scores from the weekend football games in the NFL. Opening week, week one. Tennessee Pittsburgh, 10 13. Very close, Andrew Ward. Fumbled it before the quarter, fourth quarter ended, sending it into overtime. Pittsburgh's offense was too much for Tennessee's D, and they came out with the win. Came out. 
And Philadelphia and Carolina was a blowout win for Philly, 38-10. But bad news there was McNabb went out with the rib injury. Rib. Okay, and New Orleans and Detroit, 45-27. New Orleans coming out with a big win. Drew Brees scorching Detroit's secondary with six touchdown passes. Six. For all you fantasy players out there, she scored big points at the start of that guy. So here's some, uh, here's some upcoming games for this weekend. Back to Brother Josh. Thank you, Josh. One game that I have in my mind, people, is the Pittsburgh and Chicago game. Hector. You know what I mean. Should be a good game, people. Watch it. And that's sports for you guys this week. My brother is very mad. No doubt. This is the weekend weather. We got a warm weekend coming up with mostly highs in the 80s. On Friday, we have a high of 89 degrees with a low of 48. And Saturday, we have a high of 89 again, but with a low of 49 this time. And Sunday, it cools off by one degree with a high of 88 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. So keep wearing those short shorts while you still can. Have a nice weekend.